Hey, welcome back to the big board. Glad to have you here. Today, I uh, want to have a look at the Tactical Combat System or series, and in particular, Screaming Eagles. Now, uh, this game is a pretty interesting little exploration of what went on and around Vagel. And I think down at that uh, platoon scale, you've got some really interesting things going on and you've got it, things happening with a set of terrain that is uh, extraordinarily flat. And that helps you with this particular system avoid what's deemed to be one of the, the complicating factors or frustrating factors uh, and I have certainly experienced that frustration uh, in the line of sight rules. Uh, so, <clears throat> without further ado, what I thought I would do here is uh, share with you what's going on and what the scenario is about in this video, and then <clears throat> explain to you what, uh, how I'm going to share the gameplay, because I'm actually going to be playing this opposed online on Vassal, but I'm hoping that I'll keep track of everything on the physical board as well, and we will we will we'll talk about the strategy and the tactics of our gameplay and the mission plans that we're going to write as it relates to how we're reacting to the enemy and who gets inside who's OODA loop first, right? Uh, once we uh, <laughs> and we'll see. And we'll see if we can identify when that happens. And I think this might be fun. Uh, <clears throat> the guy I'm going to be playing with, we both agreed that uh, we would write up two or three different plans. Uh, he's going to do three for his offense, and I'm going to do uh, two or three for my defense. And then we'll roll the die and randomly use one of those. So just to kind of spice things up a little bit. And that's all cool, we'll do that. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna put myself out on an edge too, too badly because the, the Yanks are kind of uh, up against the wall literally here uh, and uh, well, there's no point being uh, silly with our men. So with, here's the map. Okay, so we're gonna be focusing all of the activity around here in Vagel. I'm sorry for the light, let's turn that that way. Maybe that'll a little bit better, hey? <clears throat> Hang on one sec. I should have got this set up before we started. That's what professional videographers would do. Whatever. So, defensive perimeter is this town. So, most of these guys, actually all of these guys here, this uh, company will set up in here. And Uh, these armored cars, British armored cars, and kind of a headquarter element here, they get to set up somewhere out in this range here. So in fact, it's 10 hexes from over here somewhere. And we've got a last, I think it's uh, 13 turns. I should have pulled that too. We'll talk about it in a second. I'll tell you what the VCs are. And over here, we've got the German forces that are coming to try and secure the bridge and destroy it. That's a fairly heavy set. We've got 10 platoons of infantry, uh, nine Panthers, and uh, three or four Stugs, some 88 millimeter guns, some 20 millimeter guns. There's a lot of firepower headed this way. I think it's a pretty short scenario, actually. I'm trying to look for the, where is the rule set scenario? That's the Arata. <clears throat> I don't have the scenario handy, but it only runs from 10 a.m. until about 1 p.m. or something like that, and you probably all know it's 20-minute turns. So we've got a, we've got a, the first thing I wanted to do as I'm looking at the game to assess where I should put my defensive units and where I should uh, consider pre-plots for artillery is. How far can the infantry and the vehicle units and the tank units get in the first two turns? And so I've kind of plotted turn one, uh, potentially turn one there for um, one of the vehicle types. And then turn two, 
it's likely uh, that, that some of the forces could actually get up to here if they were smart and careful. And so this gives me opportunities to line up or plan artillery strikes, <coughs> work out where I want to, how far forward I want to be in the first turn. Is it worth putting some units up forward in the first turn and sacrificing them to slow down the advance, make them deploy and then advance past, or will they try and blow past me? Depends on the 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 uh, courage and the aggressiveness of the uh, offensive player, right? And I've also got to decide, do I want to lose a very valuable high firepower unit that's an, an eight strength? And these armored cars can be very valuable for spotting as well, so we want to keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, we will, so, so we've got to also set up in here with these uh, mortars and whatnot, and a couple of bofers. We've got to try and find good lines of fire that we can uh, set stuff up. So in case, so for instance, if the Germans come on the map over here, will they come around and try and come across this open ground, lay some smoke down perhaps, or will they try and use the cover to get as close as they can to the village? Here's the uh, perimeter of the village, this line. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. You know, this is the perimeter, so will they try and use this as a staging, get, get to here, attack into here, and then attack into here? And their goal is capture this bridge. And that means having a unit across the bridge. I received reinforcements later on in the, the term. We get some fireflies and some Shermans and whatnot. <clears throat> later on in the scenario, I should say. And some extra infantry and uh, obviously some AT guns, 57 millimeter AT guns. So that, that will pose all sorts of other challenges as well for the Germans and for the Americans because we've got to get them across the bridge, get them into position, and uh, hopefully you know, stave off the, the attacker. So this is the only way to get through this bridge is through here. I don't believe the marsh is going to be uh, accessible to anybody. I think it's three movement points to get through there. And there'll be a bit of a sitting duck for, uh, for, the, for, the, for the allies to take a shot at. So that's kind of the, the setup for this. I'm going to put uh, a couple of plans together. And once I've, I've put those plans together, we'll talk through them and we'll kind of go at it from there. Uh, this section of the map is off bounds. Oh, you can't see that, sorry. This section of the map here is out of bounds. And I've actually got the map folded over. Down at this edge, there's another section of the map that goes beyond here, but it's folded over here. So this is our playing area. This is what the Germans have to work with and what. And this is the section of the map that the, where the US will be centered with perhaps some scout cars uh, pressed out out here. All right, thought I'd uh, get this little series kicked off. You'll be seeing everything after the fact. I'm obviously not gonna be sharing strategy and plans uh, because my uh, opponent uh, looks at the blog occasionally in the videos and he's also uh, done a little bit of blogging himself in the past. So I'm hoping that we'll do a uh, a German allied uh, after action report for the whole thing once we get done, depending on how far we actually end up getting. Because uh, this will be an additional uh, combined live and in play by email play, which is what I kind of prefer. I don't, I don't want to have to play everything live with uh, someone unless uh, you know it's unique circumstances. So here we go. We'll come back and talk to you more about this in just a little while.